Hello everyone, welcome to this demo. I'm Jun. Here is my name, here is my LinkedIn, and uh, this link is for my GitHub. That's meaning uh, everything we talked today, you can get it uh, from my GitHub. Okay, let's get started. As you know, Agile method is more interactive and more communication with customer. Data-driven testing is a vital practice in our business. Also, during testing period, it requires to save output data and to capture screenshots so that it can be verified someday. Hence, today I prepared this demo, which is based on Cucumber and uh, Selenium for mobile app. I'm using Java language in this demo. Before starting, I explain more on the mobile app, mobile app I'm using for this demo which is a famous shopping app, shop back. This one, shop back. Okay, let's go through the test plan first. Here are two tests scenarios designed in this video. This is what the description is saying. In order to verify earnings and available balance, the user wants to log in and check profiles. Here is, uh, here I highlight the test steps and the checkpoints. Logging with input data. Check earnings and available balance. Here in the coding, we make a comparison with the expected earnings and the balance. If it is a correct value, then the status is passed. Otherwise, status is failed. In this case, finally, we save the earnings and the balance fetched from on the page and the comparison status into Excel. The second case is to test a unlocked user who is able to find stores by searching keyword. The stop is a normal user launch app, taps on search text box, then search wanted store by giving the keyword. We move to next. You can see the code challenger is here. We maintain test data example of feature. Return test cases status as per verification. Output test result into Excel. Capture screenshot. As I mentioned, the test environment tools and language. We are designing to test mobile app. We use APU. 
cucumber, selenium, and uh, Java, we use Maven project. Okay, that's the test plan. Just a reminder, please view my LinkedIn to connect with me. To get the source code, go to the GitHub. Here is the link. Okay, you understand everything in the code is going to do. Uh, let's move source code part. Okay. Let's open feature file. This is feature. Two scenario are written here. In those steps, you can see use the variable as a parameter. Let's see user, user email ID, password, and the earnings, available balance. Second scenario, we use the search keyword, dinner. Okay, then this is the definition file. Okay, then we see the Excel file. We open this Excel. Currently, the column HR balance, HR earnings status is empty. In this demo, we will test this first row. We expect a value balance is zero, earning is zero. Okay, now let's go through the structure of the project. Screenshot folder is not showing. Let's go to the save, save screenshot part. Save screenshot part. Let's go to here. Take screenshot. This take screenshot. So this, the source code will create a new folder. Shop back screenshot. Then it will save the screenshot at the date time. Dot PNG. After that, it will create the, after this code is running, it will save the, the screenshot into the shop back screenshot folder. Let's see the Excel reading part, writing part. Get the Excel. Okay, so this area is for write the test data into Excel. Let's see, we write earning amount, available balance, and the status. So this status will be gathered from the comparison between uh, amount, earning amount, and uh, the available balance which compared with the expect earnings and available available balance actually it compare to 
the date from feature file. The feature given is zero. Available balance is given zero. Okay, now I would like to run those script. I close this one first. Close Excel. Don't save. For this video, I'm using this Viso Let's view my phone screen. Okay, I do not get it. We try to again. I like this again. Click view. Okay, it works. Now my phone screen is showing here. Let's make this minus. Okay, so I close this AD. Then this is the shop back, which is our testing app for this demo. Now I close this app, go back to my phone page. So sorry this I'm using the free app so it a bit not it's not very clear the screen. Okay, let's run the script. I MDN CLEN. We clean everything I run before. We clean the now I type MVN T E S T test. Okay, here is the APU. I press enter. Let's see my phone screen. Okay, it works. Let's also see the terminal. Now it is running the first scenario. At the step, it is enter user email ID and the password. Then click login. Then it go into the profile. It will fetch the balance and the earning. Since the first scenario is running and then it go it is going to run second scenario. The step is Enter the search keyword. It enter ding now. Okay, everything done. Let's see the result. Actually, we can go to target the report. We can see the XM rib. 
that this is the first scenario's depth. Each step is marked past. This is the second scenario. We can see the given data is H U J Y Gmail. This is password. Then it compares zero zero. Also you can compare with feature. Actually it from this this row the data. Then we verify the Excel. Okay, for this case, the status is pass because in this demo, we just verify H balance and H earnings. Currently, both are zero. So they are same. Now it must pass. Okay. Now we go to see where is the screenshot here. It created a new shop back screenshot. We captured three PNG file. Open it. This is the first for the entering data. Let me make yeah. okay. So we Room out. Yeah, so this is the data. Then the second, I captured the profile information. The earning is here. Total earning is zero. Available balance is zero for the login the user. Then the second is for the search the search keyword is dinner d i n n e r no okay We see the search, yes, this search keyword, Dina. Okay, next time we changed, let's change the test data. We also use the user and the password. However, we update the earning and the available balance. Actually, I compared either of one is not the same. I marked a fail. Now we just update the earning. The second scenario, we this time we check, we search a store as uh, um, what we want to search address. Address D R E S S dress. Okay, we save it. Then we run again. Before running, let's delete this. Then the shop back. Wait. Delete this, save it. Okay, then let's type MVM test. Let's run again. Wait for a moment. It is going to start. Okay, click login and the email. 
and enter password. Login, then capture the signature. Okay, and finish the first scenario. Next, we'll run the second scenario. Okay, great, it is running. Waiting for entering the keyword. This time the keyword is dress. Yeah, even if it's not clear, we can see it is dress. Okay, finished already. Let's see these two scenarios, two past. Totally, we have uh, 13 steps. It used 1 minute 23 seconds. This is the first scenario. It also used the same email ID and the password as earlier. However, the compared is 010. Okay, let's go to the Excel. What is the status for this time? Oops, let's write from to this column. Something is wrong, I should put into this last three columns. Uh, anyway, the status is correct. It is a failed status. Okay, let me update this one. Zero dot zero zero zero. Okay, and copy this in the pair. Okay, let's see what is. Let's debug this one. Why the column is safe to the first? not from the last one okay i close this we go to the writing excel part okay the first row we set this cell get the last cell We save the cell value, then we close this. Okay, let me think what is wrong. Why it get the last cell number is not the one. What's wrong from here? Right, we get both more. You will get last. Okay. Let me do again. Okay, after debugging, I noticed something is wrong in the Excel. Okay, I put the debug information here. We get the last cell number. Currently, my Excel like that. We noticed there is each line here. Now I write the script.
and the email ID, password, and the login. Okay, we see the number currently it is zero six. So I saved the, the available balance earnings amount and the status. The last three columns. Now we go to see the Excel. So it's correct. Remember, this is not compared to this value. It compares from the feature, the feature file, the feature. So the state is failed. Now I delete this result. I want to run the second time. I just delete. I close this file. Now let's run again. See what is the difference this time. This one is for free user. You see the quality? It's not good. Just wait a moment. Okay, done. This time, we get the column number is three. That's why I just save in first three column. I didn't count the last three column. Why it happens? Why it does not count? Count last three columns because there is no the line here so it can't depend on the line the first time i run the script everything has the line all boundaries after the first running, I just delete the content. Then it comes from the C column. Okay. Now I change it back to the original with the line. Okay, after debugging, we understand without the border line, it will not count this column. So, for the safety, we added the cell style for the top left bottom and the right at the border we use the thin line so we run the test again to see the phone screen yeah. 
as like a, oh, think something is wrong for this time. Okay, something is wrong here. No such element. Okay, the error is here. I didn't take screenshot here. The get the screenshot is zero. Okay, we've cleared these slots and we run again. see the, the screen okay it is done I click login. Yeah, it's working well this time. Okay, so you see the last column get number is six. Yeah, however, this time before running, we already at the board. Just wait a moment. We finish the second scenario. Oops. The, the AED because the free user it get it wrong on this because the AED yeah okay we'll leave it this one then we go to see the uh, Excel we'll see this time the ball is here then I delete it, delete the counting, the ball is still here because we add the cell, cell style, set the board, the board. Then we go back to change it back, make it the pass keys. Okay, then this time we clean the screen. Sorry. Okay, we clean the screen. We rerun again. Wait a moment. Enter password. Then click login. Okay, great. Okay. This time we'll also get the last column is six. Definitely the save is path correct field. Okay.
you open the Excel to verify. Yes, correct. So the status mark pass, then the data is saved into the right column. Okay, great. Now we close this. We'll go back to see the screenshot. Okay. Oops. After the debugging, I didn't uh, delete this screenshot folder. Then all screenshot is saved here. I, I guess the last screenshot should be ours for this time. Oh no, this one. Yeah, get the Excel. Then the get the. Um, this one is for the profile. Amazing one, this one. Okay, great. Okay, done. Then these two test cases passed. We get back to see the last for the search store. This one. Okay, done. Everything is good now. Remember the I closed the PNG unused. I mean just the reminder to remember the uh, border styles. Don't forget that in in case the error we met in this demo. Okay. Uh, that's finished. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.